Rob Ditto, no Aegis from Heretta, or I'm sorry, Pam. You're right. Here's the thing. I, I can respect this because it's like, one, this is my main. Go. And it was like, this is my main too. Whoever loses has to wear the bad Rob color. <laughs> I mean, Heretta plays like a bunch of Rob colors. Whereas, yeah, he has options. Dill does not. Yeah, whereas Dill, I think, plays exclusively default Rob. Yep. Oh my gosh, the afterburner. Ooh. All right, right now, Heretta starting things off with a good percentage lead. I like the cr like the ambiguous cross-up attempt there, but that up smash just scooping everything in the world. All right, trying to go for the up tilts. Finally gets it with a nice up air. Dill Ooh. down the first stock. Yeah, kind of getting caught by her own DI check, and uh, that is Heretta taking stock one. Still has the jump online. He's going to be making it back to find some extra credit for himself. You know, uh, since we're on the topic of Street Fighter 6 where you mentioned it, uh, every time someone's like, yeah, DI check, I'm like, drive it. Drive it back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Both. Second stop. Looking quite even here. Just some wacky gyro interactions. It looked like Dill was just getting caught by both gyros there in center stage. All right, but Dill is schmixing up Heretta. Heretta schmixing right back. Ooh, another burner boost threatening that up air, forcing Dill to burn the jump early. Such a good option. And once again, the skies are never safe if you're fighting her. Oh, never. Really, Rob is both in a, a land monster and an aerial monster. Really could be classified as a plane. He is, he is the all-terrain vehicle. Rob. All-terrains including the sky. Oh! No way, no way, no what way. What a mistake. Okay. I saw the it, it was the gyro. The I gyro saw, messed it up. I saw the reflect particle, but still, still got hit. It's because it actually hit them above the uh, robo arms. So but it, the, it caught them on the net. The reflection should change it so that it belongs to Dills. That was Ooh. a weird interaction. We'll have to see that on the replay then. Okay, trying to get that spike. Doesn't quite get it. Heretta confidently in the lead here. Yep, once again with a stock lead. Whoa. Using the gyro to control the space. I love that. Catching Dill on the come in with the back air. And the aggressive arm rotor says, get off the ledge. Let me through. Okay, Ooh. not quite hitting the sweet spot there at the ledge. Okay. Yeah, I think Dill, if if Dill had gotten any of the like initial hits of up air, that probably would have killed. Yeah. But Heretta with the no mash mix up. Staying alive. Tombstone, though. Yeah, he can't survive that. It's not even Rob, and then it's a beefy boy. Anyway, last off is going to be quite a slap fest here. Yeah, you can see Heretta looking for a gyro into arm murder at the ledge, but still not fighting. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look, gyro coming through, kind of forcing Dill to clank, put her in an awkward situation. But now Dill is the one who gets to play the game, almost getting us to even percentage. Oh, nice bouncer from Heretta, putting the fear of that laser in Dill's hearts. Dan Heretta is able to yeah. take it, take game one over Dill. That was so fast. That was. I just like the, the two hands on the table, <laughs> leaning forward. Did you like it? <laughs> How nice was Honestly, that? Honestly, Heretta looked really happy after game one, and Dill yeah. looked distinctly not. Oh, no, yeah. it. I'm going to be honest. Whenever I play online or whenever I play in person and someone is like, hey, I play Lucina too, I'm just like, oh, no, <laughs> no. no. Are you sure you don't have any secondaries? <laughs> Can I play anything but your main? That's my main. <laughs> It's a, it always feels bad to lose to what you consider your character, right? Mm -hmm. But anyway, we're on to the next one. Looks like we're going straight to Battlefield. Honestly, Battle a very good counter pick. Battlefield's normal variety. Exactly, the true Battlefield. We'll see if love can bloom there. Vanilla Battlefield. Delicious, delicious Stop vanilla. Battle. So I'm... Definitely interested to see how this works out. I definitely see uh, Dill counterpick to Battlefield a lot more than Heretta. I think Dill likes, you know, having the platform conversions a lot more. Likes utilizing the Battlefield center stage just as kind of like a fortress exactly. to keep people out. Okay, here we go. 
yes, yeah, still looking a lot more confident in this game. <laughs> These gyro noises are so loud. <laughs> Alright, we're the world out here. iRobot. Blade Runner. Terminator. I <laughs> Terminator. Wally. <laughs> I remember all the fight scenes in Wally. Right? It was really, really cool when Wally just decapitated that guy. <laughs> he, put, he put him in the little trash compactor and cubed a man. Right? He was like, time to take out the trash. Of course, they had to put subtitles for that uh, one. Yeah. Otherwise, it was just Wally. What the hell are you two talking about? <laughs> We're watching Rob Ditto. Let's go, Heretta. Heretta with the first kill. Let's see if Dill can answer back here real quick. Are they all right? I think, yeah, Easy. I think Dill, Even game. Dill was not in range of the platform to get the tombstone, but was still able to get the stock using, oh my the gosh. Down okay. Throw. That actually beats out the, there we go. Beautiful back air. Heretta. Up against the wall for the first time this set. Okay, good neutral get up there. Manages to get back. What are they going to do here? Hereta not going for the doubt for the spike. Yeah, Dill just kind of patiently waiting at the ledge, and saying, like, you do it. that's exactly why they love Battlefield. They can just shark that top platform. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love these uh, dash out, like, dashing in and out from Hereta into the gyro. But still, still firmly in the driver's seat here in this game two. It looks like we may be seeing a game three. Oh, whoa! Weird little jump there, but I like it. Don't think I've ever seen that before. Yeah, Dill, Dill definitely does that one a lot of just like hovering just below the ledge and then suddenly jump scaring you with a button. Right? Oh my gosh! All right, here we go. What are we gonna see? Just forward air, forward air, forward air. All right. Calm down there with Rob Cena. Right. Fortunately, a little bit too much charge to get that uh, gyro there on Dill in center stage. And Heretta is fighting Whoa. for his life. He is going to be making it back. He is All Rob right, they the have robot. Plenty of gas. Okay, not quite. Some good DI there from Heretta. Let's see if Dill can get back safely. They Her can, they can. Heretta has just not been able to find his footing at all since Whoa. that zero to death combo from Dill. That's gonna be it as Dill does in fact take us to a game three. Woof. We're gonna see if she is able to find her revenge. Actually no, both of these players would be a revenge story as John Numbers put them both into losers. Oh no, all right, who wants to kill John Moore? Honestly, fight for our I, amusements. I, I mean, that's perpetually me and my move. So. <laughs> Put me in there, boss. Put me in, coach. Ah. Honestly, if I had to, if I had to put a bet based on the winner's side set, yeah. I would say Dill probably has more of a bone to pick with John. Yeah, yeah. Ba based on how that set went, it looked like Dill had two games in the bag, two Draw. times in a row. What, what do I have in my pocket that I can bet with you? I, <laughs> well, what do I got? I got. Uh, I'm just betting on who wants it more. I'm not betting on who wins. I got a weirdo phone number I can give you. <laughs> what the f One, go! <laughs> All right. Anyway, speaking of weirdo gameplay, Rob did us. <laughs> <laughs> got Heretta bringing us back to PS2, which I believe is his counterpick of choice. Yes. Doesn't have to worry about that center stage, like, fortress as much as on Battlefield. Oh, my goodness. Okay, what are we going to see here? Dill playing very patiently, unfortunately, just getting in depth of the head there with the gyro. All right, start things off with that combo starter. Up <laughs> Double gyro. Yep. Meeting gyros in the middle. Heretta had the option. Dill looked like she got hit by it in real life, but Heretta just wasn't ready to capitalize. He didn't believe. Yeah, Her Heretta doesn't flinch, but Heretta also doesn't follow up. Oh, all right. <laughs> shaking, shaking hands with the laser. Just the, the Rob handshake. Honestly, both are just sharing the same brain cell this game. It really is. The double gyro, double laser. The, the Rob hive mind. Maybe this really is Skynet. <laughs> so, uh, what Terminator is this one? Is this T2 or T1? I don't know. I've, I've never actually seen the Terminator Shut movie. up. Shut up. All right, you know what? Movie nights. Ter <laughs> the Terminator franchise. I won't hear anything different. At least, <laughs> at least till T3. 
right, the Heretta taking stock one in this game three. Just as a reminder, we are still best of three tonight. Always best we, of three. Yeah, we got, we got work tomorrow. Ooh, but Dill's putting in the work right now, bringing us to even stocks. Okay, so good laser in there. Dill with the first hits. Looks like Dill is just slowing things down, which is working out in her favor. Yeah, definitely. I think that is more so Dill's MO. Is she is much more of a patient Rob, and we've seen Heretta just get super aggressive. And I think that might be part of Dill's game plan is to try and like deplete that gas from Heretta. Wow, really good patience. Nice little fade back there, Gyro. Not trying to overextend there. But even with this slower game plan, Heretta is still able to find these meaningful hits and keep the percentages even and competitive. Okay, Ooh, here we go. Grab. Really, not going for the tombstone. Instead of going for the upper. Yeah, just a little more. Definitely not in tombstone for time. Oh, Heretta? They weren't out of gas. I don't understand why they just didn't go for it. Maybe they're trying to go to the other side. This yeah. is the second time in bracket he's done that on stream. I think Heretta was trying to do a jump uh, Z grab of the gyro that built around. Oh, maybe. That would have made getting back on stage a lot simpler. Gotcha. Well, an unfortunate mistake there. Heretta hoping that this is not going to cost him the game here. I don't know. It is definitely looking like a costly mistake right now as Dill is racking up 87% worth of extra credit and Heretta now potentially on his last tournament life. Dill just hearing the cheers in her head. One more stop. One more stop. All the little Pokemon Stadium people in the background. Yes. Okay. Ooh, barely Ooh. made it back there. Just out of gas, but a good air dodge. Good match. Well, no mashing. Good match out of that. Yep, is able to bring us to even stocks, but still with invincibility frames from the Angel platform. Very scary stuff. Doesn't want to stale the down throw. Oops. Heretta barely makes it back. Yep, kind of taking a page out of Dill's book there with the hover. Okay, misses the spike. It's fine. Oops. Yeah, Dill just continuing to reset the situation on Heretta. Heretta's not been able to make it back into center. And that's going to be Dill who does, in fact, get the revenge, the potential revenge on yeah. John Numbers. I mean, that was a fantastic 30 seconds of just stage pressure, like edge mm -hmm. pressure. Just like gyro, neutral air, offstage, spike, like just making Heretta guess at every single moment there. And finally ending it off with a back air. Loving all this Metroid music tonight. Whoever put the playlist on, bang! <laughs> you always get the aux chord from me. This is just our Xeno 300 yeah. playlist. Uh, Can we, we keep it forever? Primarily, no, because it's only. Uh, it, it literally is just uh, Star Fox and Metroid music. Yeah. <laughs> Which I mean, it's not bad. I mean, yeah. You're in the mood for that, but it's like it does get kind of uh, monotonous after a while. Well, if you do like Metroid music and you want something a bit of a remix, um, Harmony of a Hunter, 101%. Yeah. Go, go listen to that. Evan has that basically on his eternal playlist. Yes. And thank you for 